Hi my lovelies, welcome to Monday vlog. Right, I um, wanted to show you something. Where is it? Oh, first of all, um, I've received a postcard from Hawaii. Very, very lovely postcard um, saying, Hello Nisha, I've been following you for years and I always enjoy your videos. Just wanted to say thank you for being you. Unfortunately, I really don't know who this is from because the stamp is on a name. I've got like an end of, I don't know if this is an email address. So if that's you, please <laughs> um, put it in, a, in comments that that was from you. But um, thank you so much. These messages mean a lot to me. Um, I also got sent uh, from Mimo Wigs another Sima, Raquel Welch Sima in Shaded Biscuit. So Sima is one of my favorites. I've worn it to death and you might have seen me in some of my videos wearing it clipped at the back and she knows how much I love it. So she sent me another one. Um, I just wanted to talk about Mima Wigs because there it is it's a beautiful wig love it um so michelle from mimo wigs she's an incredible woman and i will support her to a to a moon and back forever oh she also sent me john renault care system so i've got here cleanse condition and HD Smooth Detangler, so this is something to look after your wigs with and she also sells their lashes which are called eye wigs and I think it's amazing for now she I think got only two um, types but she's going to expand on that and these are um, named after her daughters so this is Yasmin, I've had Yasmin before and I like Yasmin because they look quite long, but they're quite wispy, so they look quite natural. And these are Dara, which is her other daughter. These are huge. Um, these are very, very big eyelashes. Beautiful, but I don't think I can wear big eyelashes like this. Anyway, Michelle is a wonderful woman. She suffers with alopecia herself. She's got no hair, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, um, and she helps women everywhere. But not only that, she's also a critical care nurse. So she helps a lot of people and she works full time as a nurse, all hours, and she also has her own wig business. She ships all over the world i think she always has different discount codes she's very helpful i think they also offer a, a service where they can cut your um, baby hairs i need to ask her to do that on one of my wigs uh, to make the wig look even more natural uh, she can cut in baby hairs i think if there is a wig that is straight and you want maybe a bit of curl put in it, she can do that as well. Um, you just have to look on her website. So I will leave her um, website address, her Instagram and her YouTube. She's got a YouTube channel as well where she shows all the different wigs. She's Scottish with a very strong Scottish accent <laughs> so if you are from the US you might not understand her <laughs> but she is just amazing and, and such a lovely human being um, I don't get paid for promoting her website but I do get wigs for review from Michelle sent to me oh this is Michelle that's her on these pictures with different wigs on she seemed to suit every color wig i need to try dark wig she seemed to suit red dark blonde platinum all of it okay my lovely so um that's all i wanted to show you and i will be vlogging throughout the week as usual i will see you later hello my darlings how are you i'm tired 
I feel I feel really really burnt out I don't know <clears throat> I don't know what it is I think I've been working a bit too hard and you know this posting three times a week is very demanding so I think this week you might still see three videos but I think maybe for the next month I will go down to two videos a week or maybe even one um, I just have to slow down a bit yes I feel like I don't have any time to see friends to even clean my house properly it's like all I'm doing nails or I'm going to the gym or I'm filming so yeah I need to slow down a bit but you know it's like a I wouldn't call it a habit but it's almost like being so conscientious I've, I've done like three videos per week for so long and if I don't have three videos I feel all anxious about it so yes yeah, sometimes if I didn't have time in a week like the last time um, to film then I film at the weekends where I should be doing fun stuff at the weekends not that filming is not fun but you know what I mean it could be something to do that on the 15th in a couple of days it's gonna be full moon in Aquarius I think I don't know if this is anything to do with that so you all really enjoyed me talking about the astrology I didn't realize so many of you were also interested so I might do like a bit more simple but in-depth videos about it you know I'm not an expert at all astrology is so complicated that you can study for years and years um, I just know very little I, I couldn't um, read a birth chart for example um, and I couldn't tell you exactly how every planet influences your star sign but I know the basic things so maybe I do some videos like that I also have lost one day <laughs> this week because um, I normally go to the gym on Mondays and I don't film obviously on those days unless I'm vlogging in a car because you know I can't put like proper makeup on and because then I would have to take it all off and all that so I just try to do stuff around the house and you know if I've got any errands to, to run but yesterday he called me about 10 minutes before I was supposed to leave for, leave for the gym saying that he can't make it because his car has broken down and he couldn't get to the gym so that's why I'm going today so today was going to be my filming day but of course I didn't do any filming I did some ironing instead so I've lost one day I'm having my Botox tomorrow I wonder if if she will let me film it maybe she would let me just film not hair if she doesn't want to be filmed but like where she puts the injections so you can see because you know we've always talked about the Botox how to inject Botox not to get heavy brow because I used to have my Botox like here and that's where I need it because I've got the most wrinkles here but I can't have it there <clears throat> because that paralyzes my forehead and my eyebrows and my eyes then are so hooded I can't lift my eyebrows at all so she does it a bit differently it does give me a bit of um, lift 
the way she injects it so maybe she will let me film it i will see so i'm just about to have my botox and you can see exactly where i have it injected not to get the eyebrow drawn but i might have a tiny bit very very high up just because these lines are getting worse and worse and you know botox sort of prevents the lines lines getting worse don't they rachel yes <laughs> yes um so i can't have it here because that will give me a brow drop but i've got the worst lines here so we will try high up just to soften it a bit it won't get rid of these lines but hopefully it will soften them a bit so Rachel kindly agreed for me to film to show you exactly where I have it injected because you keep asking and obviously I can't see what she's doing. <laughs> right, first injection, where is it going? Middle. Middle. Yeah. Just relax. It doesn't hurt by the way at all. Now this is the corrugators. <laughs> if you frown again and relax. So this lifts a bit, yeah? Yeah. The middle. Stops the frown. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> that made my nose. Do you want to sneeze? <laughs> nope. I love that um, effect, you know, like in the middle of my forehead, that stretches it so nicely. And you get the lift and the smoothing. Yeah, because I've got a bit of texture on my forehead, so that always makes it. Right, if you raise your eyebrows as high as you can, so I'm just going to do a little bit, so you'll still have the lift, mm -hmm. you won't get rid of all the movement. And yeah. relax. That's good. Just little spit. Not very technical. <laughs> <laughs> and if you raise again and relax. And turn slightly towards me. So this is something I haven't had done before. So we're just trying to see if we put it that high, if it's going to make me look, my, uh, drop my eye, eyebrows. I hope not. It shouldn't do. So you don't put any here in the middle? I put one in the middle up there. Oh, okay. But before, I thought that you put it somewhere yeah. here. I've done one oh, okay. in your frown. Oh, up, okay. And that softens the middle of the forehead, and that's where you get a nice oh, lift okay. from. I will see that when I watch this back. <laughs> and now my crow's feet. You turn slightly away from me. And if you do your smile or squint and relax. And same thing, do your smile or squint again and relax again. And if you turn the other way, you do it the other side. Same thing if you smile or squint again and relax. And same thing once more. And relax again. Done. And I'm done.
one. That's all it takes. <laughs> oh my God. Look at my hair. So I've washed and styled my hair. It's such an awful weather. It's absolutely pouring down. I had an umbrella, but because of the moisture, look, feathers, I'm really annoyed. And because I'm wearing just shoes like that, my feet are absolutely soaked. Hate rain, hate rain so much. I'd rather live in a freezing North Pole with snow and ice than rain. Ugh. Okay, so as you saw, that was like not even 10 minutes obviously if that was your first visit you would have to fill up some forms and stuff but i see her all the time so oh it's a long way so yeah it's very quick and um, hopefully you saw where she injects me so now today we've done it a bit differently so I have exactly the same apart these three here at the top so we thought we try because like I said uh, my where is the blinking way out um what oh my god what a stupid car park um my my lines here above my eyebrows on both sides are the worst but to get rid of those i would have to have it injected about here and that would definitely bring my um eyebrows down because i've had it done before uh, but where we've put it so high enough it might bring my eyebrows maybe tiny bit down not too much but you will soften those lines a bit you won't get rid of them I, I should still have movement in my forehead um, but you will soften them and you know this is preventative because I've noticed my 11s here even when my bottles has worn off are so much better and softer than they used to be because when they zap your muscles you're not making those expressions therefore you're not making those lines any worse so Botox is quite preventative when you're having it done you know all the time right, I'm going home now hiding from this awful awful weather it's quite cold today actually it's only 15 degrees honestly it's like winter autumn uh, you also often ask me about the price it's difficult to if I give you a price that doesn't mean if you go somewhere else you will be charged the same and I know in the US they charge per unit or something like that um, here in the UK they tend to charge by area so like this is one area this is second area and your forehead is third area so use usually three areas so I um, normally have two areas but today i had three obviously so um everybody charges different but for three areas you can pay anything between 250 to 350 pounds depends where you go who you go to um you know i'm sure if you went somewhere like highly street in london you'll be paying much more so it's hard to tell but in, in the UK no one charges per unit uh, it's just per area so in about two weeks in one of my Monday videos uh, we will look at the results um, I should really come up closer and show you how I look now when I frown lift my eyebrows and squint 
and in two weeks we should have a look at the difference because it takes about two weeks uh, for it for, to fully work i start seeing um results probably slightly results after five days and then it takes full effect in two weeks you're supposed to make the expressions after you've had it done uh, then the botulin spreads quicker and it might work quicker by one day um, but you mustn't touch your face for like a few hours and uh, don't do any strenuous activities so you don't get like rush of blood to those places um, so it carries the Botox somewhere else I think that's the science behind it um, so for example I couldn't go to the gym now that would be bad but um, I'm actually going to the gym tomorrow and she said tomorrow is absolutely fine because that will be longer than 24 hours so it's just the you know first 24 hours be a bit careful so I'm going to be frowning and squinting moving it about <laughs> I'll see you later hi so it's Monday today um uh, monday when you're going to see this video so it's in real time that's why my monday video today's video might be a bit late i just wanted to come back and show you how my botox is progressing so it has been six days yeah today yeah i had it done on wednesday it's monday today so things are definitely happening um if I come closer can you see how smooth and shiny my forehead is that's what I like it really stretches um, this bit here so that is due to the injections that I had between my head head between my eyebrows and one about here and then I had two little ones at the beginning of my brow so these are the corrugators and corrugators make you frown so when you have it injected up to about here it stops you frowning I can still frown a bit so this is still needs a bit more time um, but okay now my crow's feet they are almost gone now and do you remember i had it high up here so i've noticed i can still move my eyebrows but not as as well as i normally do if you look at my eyes when i used to lift my eyebrows you could see my whole eyelid i wouldn't have any fold or anything i could really stretch my eyelid but i i can't now but I still have movement and i can see these lines look so much better now these ones are a bit worse on this side but like i said it takes full effect in two weeks so i hope i don't lose any more movement in my forehead because already i can't lift my eyebrows as high as i used to so when i put makeup on now it will be a bit more challenging so yeah so far i'm happy um i won't be as happy <laughs> if my um eyebrows drop a bit more but like i've said to you before this is something new that i've tried just to soften the, those lines because they were really bad i mean this side looks really good i just have i hope you can see it i just have few little ones here on this side they are still a bit bigger but yeah I've got still another week so remember if you don't want any eyebrow drop you don't have anything from about here so you know I had these two little here that's fine but any any injections about in this area when my actual wrinkles are would really bring my eyebrows down so if you don't want any of that 
you just have it here but in your corrugators and um, in your cross feet that also lifts gives you a bit of an eye lift if you have the injections here because you can't bring your eyebrow down so much so having it here and here that does give you a bit of an eye lift um, but yeah as you can see my forehead is not completely paralyzed so I really hope that it will stay like this if it stays like this I'm quite happy just need these lines to soften a bit so yes my darlings also remember that everybody is a bit different um, we all have different strength of muscles in our face so sometimes it's a bit of a trial and error um, but if you get a good injector you will be fine because when I first started having Botox I had this I think it was a I think it was my dentist and he was so happy with his needle just because I said I don't like these lines she, he just injected my whole forehead and I had a beautiful smooth forehead but I also my eyebrows were like on my nose I couldn't move my eyebrows at all so you have to remember that you can't always have everything with Botox you have to compromise like I have to um, the worst lines are here but I can't completely get rid of them because that will give me a droopy brow so you have to choose what you prefer wrinkly forehead or droopy brows <laughs> you know some people have very big um, eyes already with with a um, nice big mobile lid and having uh, injections all over their forehead doesn't make any difference to how their eyes look so that's what I mean everybody is a bit different but that's how I have it done I will see in another week if that drops even more then I probably won't have it done again up here but yeah so I hope that was helpful for those of you who never had successful Botox or never had Botox and would like to have it done um, also remember this will wear off in five months so um, even if something doesn't go right it's not permanent okay my lovelies that's it for this vlog thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.